What's up, people? It's your Kokonsa waitress, Ajua Yurin Chiwa here. Yes. And uh, it's another packed episode of Vibe Trends on Vibe with us. I've got so much to tell you guys. Charlie, don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Vibe Trends. A few weeks ago, ex-rapper now Evangelist Lord Kenya was seen in a video claiming that the family of Okonfo Kwade is suing him for taking their son to a rehab center without their consent. So people have been concerned about why their family would refuse such help and some even said Okonfo Kwade's mother is being overprotective of her son and that's why people did not come up to help him in the first place. So Madame Cecilia Atotaga, if I got the name right, which is a uh, Okonfo Kwade's mother has clarified her reason behind the decision to bar her son from the public and visitors. She said her son's amnesia condition demands that he stays in the rehab center and receive constant and periodic medication to better his chances of revival. So she refuted the claims that she has deliberately stopped everyone from visiting his son as being speculated by some industry players. So reacting to reports that she threatened to sue Lord Kenya, who has constantly been updating Ghanaians on Kwade's health, she said she hasn't threatened to sue Lord Kenya because she's the one who called him in the first place to assist his son because she knew he had rehab experience. Well, prayers going out to Okonfo Kwade and his family. We hope things turn out well because, Charlie, we miss his music. After whetting the appetite of the masses towards his Gift of God album, African dance all-star Sha Awale has postponed the release of the album to 2021. So Shatter revealed that the Gift of God album is set to feature A-list artists such as Vibes Cartel, Beyonce, Sarko Dia, Stoneboy, Samini, and many others. But due to the risk factors after considering the negative impact of the coronavirus, the release has been postponed to 2021. In a Facebook post, the African dancer King said he will instead be dropping singles to keep his fans occupied till the release date. Charlie. We're all so excited about this whole thing and then all of a sudden coronavirus and then now 2021. You guys stay stay inside and stop the spread of the coronavirus. Stay inside and watch vibe trends. Uh uh, what's that? Ghanaian rapper D Money has acquired a brand new Jaguar British Design Edition worth close to $200,000 and brought it to Ghana. So expressing his excitement over receiving the car that stunned onlookers at the Temahabo, the rapper wrote on his Twitter page, She's finally here, British Design Edition, one of 300 made and one of one in Ghana, blessed. Fun fact. Hmm. The starting price for the Jaguar FT type is $61,000 and that runs to about 354,515 Ghana cities. So, you say what? You go hustle or you only love your bed and your mama. Charlie, people have money. <laughs> Black Avenue CEO Desmond Blackmore, popularly known as D Black, has collaborated with top American rapper OT Genesis and gets the attention of legendary Buster Rhymes. So OT Genesis first shared a video of himself and D Black, which was a teaser of what fans are to expect with a caption which points the fact that America is linking up with Ghana for greater heights. D Black then received a big up from top American rapper Buster Rhymes, who wrote, I said, the bro OT Genesis working at D Black featuring at OT Genesis. Soon come, stay tuned. I think it's a big one for D Black and for Ghana music as a whole. So, watch this space. We'll bring you up updates on this project and many, 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 many other stories. So, guys. Stick and stay. Don't do not go anywhere. We have a nice package at the end of the video. 
for you guys. I always tell you there is a nice package at the end of the video, and there is a nice package at the end of the video. So, where do you want to go? Why don't you want to watch the video till the end? Watch till the end. I'm coming. Five trends. Yeah, your eye like you know no Now your ex calling hard like you know please. You really hurt me, babe Will you de vex me, babe Now I get money, you they chase me, babe Don't come around and come stress me, baby You really hurt me, babe Five trends So while many of his fans have been worried about his silence on social media, the YBNL boss Olamide has come out to reveal the reason behind his silence. So the coronavirus has indirectly pushed most entertainers into their corners. Some including Olamide have used it as an opportunity to work on his next music project. So it seems some people were saying his password is missing and that's why he wasn't online or whatever. In a short tweet on his Twitter handle, he wrote, I didn't forget my password. I've been in the kitchen. And then he wrote some Nigeria things that I can't read because I don't want to get myself into trouble. And then he wrote again, album 95% ready, hashtag YBNL Mafia. So you guys, watch out for Olamide. I think he's bringing out something fire. U.S. rapper Kanye West says he's running for president, potentially pitting him against the man he says he admires, Donald Trump. So it is also not the first time West has claimed he's running for the White House. At the 2015 MTV Video Music Awards, he said that he had decided to run for president in 2020. So in a tweet on the U.S. Independence Day, the rapper wrote, We must now realize the promise of America by trusting God, unifying our vision and building our future. I am running for president of the United States. Hashtag 2020 vision. Now, it's unclear if he is really running or not, because he does not appear to have registered his name for the Federal Election Commission for the November election. But he already has an endorsement from his wife, Kim Kardashian West, and world tech known guru, Elon Musk. So you guys remember we promised that we would be doing birthday wishes this month. So happy birthday belated going out to Takra Distress rapper Yao Lucas, going out to TSC and YFM's very own Richard Woolley, and also going out to Angel Mike of Tadi We Day. Chale, you guys, God bless you abundantly from the team of Vibe Trends, Vibe with us, Chale. We wish you all the best in life and stay safe. We just hope this coronavirus thing will go away very soon. And then next year, we are going to attend your parties. Media, I can't wait to attend the party. Me and Uncle Coronavirus, we can go out and Charlie, I want to go to a party. So we pray for the best for you guys. We pray that next year by this time there won't be any coronavirus and then they, you guys will do parties and i'll come some you understand <laughs> so a big and special thanks going out to our proud sponsors bng glams and granny spots so if you need your nails done you you need some facials done your pedicure your manicure you need wig caps cosmetics anything you need Contact BNG Glams. You find them on the Anaji Jopuzo Road. Just knock, go inside. Ask Auntie Belinda. Tell Auntie Belinda I sent you. She will do you nice, nice. I always tell you, you and Kasa, look at my makeup. Who's that? No, I say. Yes. So go to BNG Glams and then she's got you covered. Another one going out to Granny Spots. Granny Spots for your weddings, for your parties, for all your events. If you need food, Chop chop, delicious food. Contact Granny Spots. You can find them on Instagram, Granny's underscore put the GH. And also their numbers are on the screen, so you can call them and then make your order fast fast. They their food is nice. 
you understand me yeah so contact them that's how we wrap up on today's episode guys it's been your co-concert waitress as always as always serving you nothing but the best me ajua you enjoy i'll come your way again with juicy hot hot co-concert and celebrity news just don't go watch the other videos like subscribe comment share you understand yes i'll catch you soon bye bye five trends